what's your thoughts on like PC and cancel culture? And, and do you ever worry about maybe an old joke from like the 80s coming back to haunt you? Well, you know, it's funny because I, I was talking about this with somebody a couple of weeks ago. I've changed the way I write because like maybe in the late 80s or the late 90s and people know me for the you might be a redneck stuff. But even at the height of its popularity, it was five minutes out of a two hour show. Mm. Uh, but they were one liners. They were easy yeah. to remember. They were easy to retell. And, and I did them about myself because that's what people were calling me because I grew up in the country and I have this accent and I drove a truck. And, you know, it was good nature, but it was always like, hey, Foxworthy, you're just a redneck from Georgia. And I kind of found traveling the country. I'm like, well, this isn't just a Georgia thing. This is everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but most of my stuff has been relationship stuff. And so like in the late 80s or early 90s, if I was writing a joke, I might say, Men do this and women do this. But then you would start getting people coming in in the last few years that would say, well, I'm a man and I don't do that or I'm a woman. So I changed it to, hey, I do this and my wife does that, you know, Mm -hmm. trying not to offend somebody. But here's the deal. You know, one of the things that that I thank God for is that he was infinitely creative in that there's. There's there's millions of kinds of bugs and there's thousands of kinds of trees and, you know, a million kind of fish. And, 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 and I don't know why as human beings we think we all have to think and be alike because – why can't – because – you, you know, I, I told somebody, I said, if you if you take both sides of the of politics, if you peg left and peg right, but if you set these people down and you talk to them about what was important in their life, I bet they would agree on 85 percent of the stuff. So why is it that we don't celebrate the 85 percent we have in common, but we scream at each other about the 15 percent that we don't have in common? You know, and, and mm-hmm. so I don't want to. I think that's boring. If we all look and think and dress alike, you know, Mm -hmm. you don't learn something if somebody thinks exactly like you do. You only learn when somebody has a different opinion and you listen to their opinion and they listen to your opinion and then you grow. You don't grow if the only people you associate with think exactly like you. 